coming up in today's episode of Chloe Yasmine. New hair, who this? New hair, who this? Yeah. I am so sleepy today. You literally need to click off right now because you're. this is... I'm tired, I swear to gosh. I am so tired today. This video is going to do you no good. It is going to be the most boring video you've ever watched in your life. Just click off at this point because I literally have no energy in the world. Stop let Get out of my view. <laughs> you guys. I already struggle on my menstrual cycle every single month because I'm just so tired and like anxious and just moody. But when I tell you guys the mix between being on Accutane and your menstrual cycle at the same time, it's like your body is dried out. I have a very heavy flow, so I lose a lot of blood on my menstrual cycle. So I'm just tired. I have body pain. Honestly, I'm a little anxious today, but mainly I'm just so tired. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Like, what am I even recording on? A grape? What am I doing? Stop laughing! <laughs> hey! I swear to God. So yeah, I'm supposed to be vlogging today, but I don't know how this is gonna go because I'm not gonna do anything. Like, I wanna clean my fridge, but I'm not gonna do it. But, new hair! Mm-hmm, girl! I finally got all of the damage cut off of my hair. I don't like what it looks like right now because I just got done washing it, so it's like super flat and ugly. But, it's gonna be cute. When it gets, you know, veil voluminous. Veil voluminous. I'm just really tired. You guys are literally gonna see the most boring vlog in the world. I'm not doing anything. So let's go do nothing together. I'm parked outside of Target right now. And I'm gonna go into Target because I need to get cleaning products for my house. I'm running low on like everything. So I need cleaning products. I need candles. I need to get like some little like miscellaneous dope stuff because tomorrow's my brother's birthday. So I want to get a nice little gift bag made with like some colognes and stuff like that. So I'll go to Ulta um, and see what kind of colognes they have there i want to buy myself a new perfume because today i'm wearing i literally just talk and ramble all over the place can you grab my purse for me yes thank you and i'm gonna buy a new hypnotic poison perfume i love this i'm wearing this today it is a very beautiful vanilla it ain't for everybody but baby it's for me this is that non-basic vanilla y'all know about the kaoli vanilla it's so basic it's pretty it's nice it just smells like a very basic vanilla it's definitely something that would be great to build on but the hypnotic poison is perfect by itself it's one of the only fragrances I genuinely don't need to mix it don't really ever mix it I don't remember ever really mixing it because it's that amazing like it's just giving me a vibe right now my outfit's kind of a vibe yes ma'am I put these glasses on my jeans because when my hair gets like big and like vol voluminous and stuff I'm I can't talk when my hair gets bigger I put these in my hair and stuff like that so I need to go ahead and shake my hair which gives it more volume but I don't want to do that until it's dry I don't know like why I'm talking right now because there's nothing that I'm talking about that means anything volume he literally teases me because he says value volume and I say volume. volume 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 What's the difference it's a made on the bottom we in Target I'm just kidding we are in Target I'm drinking on my Big B. I love the Big B energy drinks. I believe it's just like Red Bull and like flavored syrup, but it's yummy. I really like it. Anyways, oh, these are cute. I also be feeling hecka ugly on my menstrual cycle. That's another symptom of PMS, whatever the heck. Anyways, yesterday I had like a little crying spell going on. I don't know what the heck was going on, but I cried from like morning to night and I was crying for absolutely nothing. Just everything made me cry. And he's like, why are you crying? I'm like, I don't know. Like every 30 minutes, so it's also kind of tough on him. So I'm very grateful for his support because I'm an emotional mess this freaking week so far. It's really hard. But I have gotten some things already, which I shouldn't because I really shouldn't tell nobody. But I already came to Target yesterday and I already bought some clothes yesterday. But don't worry about it, okay? So I'm thinking of like a cute outfit idea so my brother has a fight coming up this weekend and i want to figure out what the heck i'm gonna wear so i already bought some clothes yesterday but we don't know if i really want to wear those <laughs> but what we do know is that variety is key so i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm thinking i gotta find some cute jeans or like some cute baggy cargo pants to go with this outfit but this top this purse 
this little LA hat. Okay, girl. And then this sparkly, uh, this sparkly bill. Like, it may not go together, but I like the sparkles. So, it's just, it's giving yes. That's cute. So, I do have four items already, but I honestly just need to get what I came here for. So this dang cart is so full. I was not planning on buying this much stuff. I don't know what the heck is going on, but this cart is packed to the brim. But I'm getting down to my last little items I need to go ahead and purchase. I am in the candle section right now, and I have three candles so far. So I'm going to go ahead and get my brother this black bamboo candle by The Collection because it smells like cologne. So it's a very masculine kind of candle. And then for myself, I'm going to go ahead and buy this red bamboo and apple candle. I love the packaging and I love the way it smells. I'm actually really trying to hold myself back right now from buying every candle that I want because I want to spend like $200 in just candles because real fast i also bought this which is a cerulean surf and sea candle it's only 12 bucks so it'd be perfect for my little living room area i want to buy this candle this casa luna candle because it's super vibed out and it has four wicks but it's 30 bucks so i want to get that and i also want to get the matching um diffuser like the oil diffuser they have the matching diffuser that'll be super cute and like aesthetic with this spray I want that and I want every single one of these brown candles because they have wooden wicks and they're so cute like I want every single one of these so yeah so yeah I need to get out of this dang store oh I also want um <laughs> all of these I want these cute little candles too oh my gosh I love it I'm obsessed dude like oh my gosh I love this aloe and bergamot it smells so nice I have that burning in my bathroom not right now of course but yeah my hair is getting a little bit more volume girl we love it and yes I say volume <laughs> if there is an issue it can be an issue anyways I just got out of Ulta yes ma'am I'm so happy because I had $50 in points Oh my gosh. So I got $50 off of my total. Honestly, interacting with people and giving people compliments, it wakes me up. Like honestly, like I'm a very big complimenter. Like I love to compliment people because it's like when you compliment people, you're complimenting yourself. It's almost like somebody complimenting you because whatever like you're speaking, whatever is coming out of your mouth is going back into your body because you're hearing it. So it's like if there's negativity coming out, you're going to be a negative person and you're not going to feel good about yourself. If you're calling people ugly, you're going to feel ugly. But if you compliment people, you're also speaking those things to yourself and that is definitely why I feel so amazing when I compliment people but that was not why I even brought that up I brought it up because I'm getting back into myself you guys know that I had a, like a harder year last year and honestly I didn't notice it because I was just in it but I wasn't complimenting people I wasn't happy for people I was just honestly just annoyed with everything but now that I'm getting back to myself girl I will girl your hair girl your makeup girl your toes look good girl you look amazing yes <laughs> Anyways, so that just really woke me up because I was like, oh my gosh, girl, like your makeup. She was like, no, because I was getting ready to tell you how pretty you were. I was like, girl, you too. Um, and she was like, oh my gosh, your name's Chloe. My name's Chloe too. I'm like, dude, Chloe's, we love it. And she was like, I've never seen so many points in my three days of working here. In <laughs> <laughs> my three days. And the other girl was like, no, no, I've seen people with 900 points. Yes. I said, okay, their tax bracket is wishable because at this point, <laughs> like we're just in there just like vibing out. It was the funniest interaction in the world we're pulling up to dollar tree right now but i love complimenting people like i just love making someone feel better um i love to uplift somebody or make their day just better i don't know i just love it i just love making people feel good about themselves and it makes me feel good about myself too when i compliment people and i got these super cute that's how you know i just be talking <laughs> why was i getting ready to call pimple patches cute everybody raves there's a bug in the car Did you just mark them like that yeah Man, you're it's probably because you left the Panera in the car. Well, you got those chips in there too. You have I your chips in there away. too. Actually, I ate them when I was waiting. Y'all, Panera's chicken sandwich is good. 
Mona. Anyways, Mighty Hero. I mean, Mighty Patch Hero. I don't know. I got some Mighty Patches for my skin because I still do get like period pimples and stuff like that here and there. Um, and I still am purging. Not like crazy, but I still am purging, which can happen honestly up until the last month of Accutane. But I got some pimple patches because, girl, everybody raves about them. And she was raving about them too, the girl at the counter. She was like, girl, these is good. They're going to save your life. I'm like, what you trying to say? I'm just lying. But I got my brother two fragrances. I also bought him a best dad ever cup at Target because he literally is like the best dad in the whole entire world. I've never seen a better dad than my brother. It's kind of weird. But um, I bought him two fragrances. I got the medium sizes because I don't know like how he's going to feel about them. So I didn't want to get like a full bottle. So I got Dolce & Gabbana light blue because I feel like I've heard him talk about this before. And then I just got a Dolce & Gabbana like original fragrance i don't know i like the way it smelled so i just went ahead and purchased it so i'm gonna go ahead and give these two to him his candle his cup and then i'm gonna get like a bunch of candies in here because he's addicted to candy um and then i i got my hypnotic poison but we'll talk about this when we get home because i literally need enough time to talk about that and rave about it that i don't have it right now but i need to go into dollar tree and get some stuff i don't know how comfortable i am filming in here like like I said, like, it's a little bit of an anxious day for me, so I ain't even want to ask to film in Ulta, which I know they would have said yes, but I just... That's okay, though. Sometimes I really beat myself up for not filming in a store when I wasn't comfortable filming in the store. Like, big whoop. Mm-hmm. Girl, yes. My hair is so healthy. Oh, my gosh. I was so nervous about this haircut. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, girl, I'm gonna be bald. Like, what's gonna happen? Don't get me wrong. I have had this length of hair many times before, but I just don't like it. I love long hair, and I really miss my long hair. But honestly, this dang haircut really fits me. It's so cute. Of course, I still have to go through the ugly phase. The ugly phase to me is like when my hair gets to like this point. That's when it's like the awkward ugly phase. But we're gonna make it do what it do. This is so cute, y'all. I'm loving my hair. I love when I put my glasses in my hair and it just like frames my face a little bit. It is so freaking cute. But anyway. But let me show you guys everything that I did purchase from Target today. Um, the little Dollar Tree items. And then I wanna talk about my perfume. And then we gotta put together some bags. So I got together some little Easter stuff at Dollar Tree for my nephew because my mom has my nephew right now and I'm not going to be in town on Easter. So I was like, let me just go ahead and get some little Easter stuff and do like a little Easter egg hunt with him and stuff like that in my little apartment area out here in like the little courtyard or whatever. Um, and then of course what I went there for, I got the little gift bag and stuff. It was kind of tacky, I'm not going to lie, but I had to get it because I ain't had nothing else. Let me stop talking. L come on girl i ain't even show y'all my outfit though it is so cute i'm really obsessed i need to go ahead and show you guys it but we're gonna go ahead and quickly get over with get over with get this target haul over with so i bought this super cute dress super cute we can all tell just by that bottom how cute it is going to be it's going to be tightly fitted i love that girl we love it so i went ahead and picked up this super cute little summer dress. I went ahead and picked up some salmon because I gotta have fat for my Accutane and that is healthy fat. I got that white shirt I already showed you guys. I got this LA hat that I already went ahead and showed you guys. I'm not a big fan of the LA lifestyle, but that's a really cute hat. Um, I went ahead and bought my brother this best dad ever cup. It's super cute. He drinks a lot of coffee, so I thought that would be perfect. I also went ahead and picked up this little three tier shelf thing. I don't know, I bought some recently on Amazon on as you guys know i organized my perfumes and stuff recently with them but this one was a lot cheaper it's also not as good so i don't even know why i bought it i don't know i don't know i just buy stuff sometimes but i'm gonna go ahead and organize some body care products with that i don't honestly i don't think i'm gonna finish off what i planned on doing in today's video today because like i told you guys it's one of those days and i'm really tired and i'm not feeling the best and i do want to have some time with my mom and my nephew today and then also have time to rest and i can still finish off today's vlog tomorrow so i planned on like cleaning my kitchen and cleaning out my refrigerator and stuff like that so i can like reset my kitchen but i'll probably do that tomorrow because like i said i'm running low on energy like i literally my brain is so fuzzy and clouded on my menstrual cycle it's crazy i don't know i don't know I don't know. I got some ghost energy drinks because my mom has been raving about those. She says, no matter what, nothing tops these when it comes down to giving her a nice amount of energy. So I had to go ahead and pick that up because girl, she sold me so ghost. If you want somebody to sell energy drinks for you, my mom, my mom, she's going to be the one. Um, candle. This is the one I bought off of camera, but I went ahead and bought this Miami cocktail candle as well because 
why not? It smells so good. I have certain fragrances that I like for my room and certain ones I like for my living room. And that is one I'm going to want for my room. Very summery. And then that cologne scented candle I got for my brother. The surf and sea candle I showed you guys. Um, and then I went ahead and picked up some Mr. Clean antibacterial summer citrus like multi-purpose cleaner. I bought this for mopping and I love that it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Like we love that. So I'm going to go ahead and mop my floors with this. It's super strong. It smells super amazing. It just gets the air so clear and fresh and crisp. Crisp? Crisp? We love it. It's something about mopping your floors that changes the air quality in your home. Like, mmm. I picked up some strawberries. Gotta have strawberries. I picked up some blueberries. Gotta have blueberries. I like sweet blueberries. I don't like sour blueberries. Like they literally hurt my mouth. Like I'd be like, ooh. La, la, la. I got some lemons. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some lemon water tomorrow. I should have grabbed more water, but oh well. I've never robbed anybody in my life, but I considered it today. I'm just kidding. <laughs> there was this girl on Target. And she must be really good at like home decor or whatever the heck. I don't know. But her favorite color was definitely like army green, olive green. I don't know. Her hat was olive green. Her purse was green. Her shoes were green. And she was buying a bunch of like green and cream stuff for her room and bathroom and stuff. And she had the cart filled shack high. I was just waiting for her card to say bing bing and I was going to steal her cart. No, but like her stuff was so cute. I was honestly getting ready to be like, hey, is this, do you do this for a living? Because I need some help. Like my room really needs some help. I'm not gonna decorate how I want to decorate until I move into a house, which should be soon, because I just feel like it's a waste in here. I really wanna feel out the area that I want to fully completely decorate how I want to like deck it out and then be able to do it and love it. But in this apartment, I just feel like I didn't really want to. I just wanted to get what I could that was affordable and would get me through and was cute and call it a day. And girl, it's working. I got me some period products. So I went ahead and just got some super cheap, always ultra thin pads. I went ahead and picked up some panty liners. These are my favorite panty liners in the world. These are the only ones that don't bunch up. They are anti-bunch. They don't bunch up. They don't like unpeel, whatever the heck. I love that bag, you guys. I cannot wait to wear it. I got some Airwick um, plug-ins. Y'all know I gotta have my plug-ins. Yes, ma'am. My house gotta smell good. I don't play that junk. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I recently bought some expensive like pans and I want to keep them looking expensive. So I went ahead and got some Barkeeper's Friend. If you don't know what that is, y'all know like that brown stuff that like the burning that happens at the bottom of the pan and it's like super hard to get off. Well, Barkeeper's Friend will get rid of that for you. I bought my very first scrub daddy. Yes, my very first. I bought some dish daddy. So basically what this is, y'all know about the scotch brights. Like y'all know about this, right? Y'all know about these, right? This one's super grubby. I got to take it off so I can replace it. I also got some scotch bright refills, but y'all know about the scotch brights, right? Well, that is just the scrub daddy version of this. Honestly, I think it's going to be way better because the scrub daddies or like the dish daddies, whatever the heck, they get softer when it's like hot water. So that'll be perfect for my counters. So I got the refill heads, but I also got the actual, let me take it off. The actual dish daddy. I don't think I'm going to use this for dishes. I'll most likely use it for like my counters and my sinks and stuff like that even like my bathtub to go ahead and clean it out so i'm excited about that i love that it stands up it stands up it holds a lot of product and i think that's super cool i got some baking soda i gotta go ahead and refill my baking soda container for laundry i got some regular sponges i got this scrub brush that I got on sale. The one that I have right now is the exact same one, but it's getting ready to be on its last leg or it is on its last leg. I got Dawn dish soap. I got some Mrs. Myers spray in the scent Honeysuckle. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I love my Mrs. Myers spray right now. I got my glittery belt that y'all can't really see, but it's so cute. Um, I got some fragrance free cleansing wipes because I'm on my menstrual cycle and I really do like these. If you guys can see them, there we are. So I got some wipes. Now, last but not least, I also got some vinegar. So I'm gonna go ahead and refill my bleach. Wait, the bleach was last but not least. Girl, I'm forgetting all kinds of stuff. Lock it, stop nibbling at my toes, girl. Come here, baby. Don't mind her, y'all. She got a grooming appointment. Ooh, she got a grooming appointment coming up. Ooh. Love you, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and refill my baking soda container, girl. Why does baking soda like a rock? God, 
Golly! Dang! And I don't mean to uh, toot my own horn, but girl, I smell so good. I am not kidding. Hypnotic Poison by Dior is literally the best vanilla scent in the world. Oh, so this is like a big old rock for real. Golly! Dang! Man, it's like an iceberg. Ooh. baking soda y'all like i was saying hypnotic poison is the best vanilla scent and why is bleach yellow i thought it was like clear all right OOTD, yes ma'am. I love these jeans. I really need to find more of these style jeans. I got them at H&M. I need to go back. So freaking cute. I love today's outfit. Literally am obsessed. My purse went perfectly. The shoes went perfectly, girl. Everything. We love it. This is literally one of the worst and random videos I have ever made in my life, but I'm kind of enjoying myself. I'm not gonna lie. It's like no pressure. I get to do whatever the heck I wanna do. It is one of the most laziest days I have had in a while but I love it like I just want to be lazy but it is now time to go ahead and start putting together this gift bag and adding my perfume to my perfume collection like I told y'all earlier it's the perfume that I have on right now I'm almost out of it but girl this hypnotic poison Oh my gosh, I love this stuff so much. I believe this was like my first Dior fragrance. I'm not really sure. It's Hypnotic Poison. It is a beautiful vanilla fragrance and I love it. I never have to build on this. I never have to mix it, do any of that. It's a combination in itself. This is a crazy beautiful vanilla. I love it. So I bought another one. Yes, ma'am, girl. Yes, ma'am, girl. I'm about to start saying that. Yes, ma'am, girl. So let's go over here and add it to the collection. Yes, ma'am. I know a lot of y'all were a little bit upset about me saying that the Kayali fragrance was not good. But, yeah, that probably wasn't nice. It's not that it's not good. It's just really basic for the price. Like, I'm not saying that I'll never have it in my collection because most likely it will be in my collection as like a base vanilla fragrance because it is a beautiful base vanilla fragrance, like the basics. But it's not what it's hyped up to be. This is a vanilla you won't be able to find anywhere else. Kayali, you can find it at Bath and Body Where You can find it at Victoria's Secret. You, girl, you can make it. But it's still nice. Anyways, um, this one goes up here. And then this one can go right here. I love it. And y'all may be like, why buy it if you haven't finished it yet? Why talk if it's not your money? <laughs> but let's get into it, girl. So we got the red bag that I find so tacky, but they didn't have nothing else. I'm going to put all his candy at the bottom. So I got him some airheads. I got him some blow pops. He loves blow pops. I got him some Haribo Sour Kicks. I love those my dang self. Oh, I forgot about my drink. Girl, yes, I got me a little sparkling ice drink. Is that all the candy I had got him? I'm going to go ahead and put these at the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and wrap these fragrances up. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one in the red paper. All right. This one in the blue. right and then his best dad ever cup i'm also gonna go ahead and wrap all right girl i forgot the candle what's going on girl i already didn't bunched up all this paper come on girl well, at least i can use the paper thank the lord i can use all of it Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, that's better. Honestly, I'm like terrible at gifts. 
I hope this isn't like a stupid gift. I never really know what to get people. So I always just get like fragrances. And I've also had times where I got people fragrances and they're like, eh, I don't really like this. And I'm like, why did I get the full size? You know, so I just got the medium sizes. But I do have some things for my nephew um, that I'm gonna go ahead and give him. I just got him some Cheeto mac and cheese. He loves mac and cheese. Some Lifesaver gummies, some beef jerky chew, Oreo minis, um, a magic towel. I used to love magic towels when I was younger. Of course, I got him the little Easter basket. I got him a Mountain Dew. And then for his little um, eggs, I got him some Kit Kats, some Reese's, and I'm gonna steal one of Jordan's ring pops for him. And then I got him this super cute little Jurassic Jurassic Park pen that you can change the colors. My nephew loved his Easter basket. I did a little Easter egg hunt with him and I put money in the golden egg. He loved that. And I just took him out for a day with me yesterday. We got a drink from Big B. I had to take him to Sephora with me. And when I tell you guys, he was smelling fragrances with me. He was looking at the makeup with me. Like, I think this one's gonna match you better. Oh, and this is really nice too, this body cream. He's great. We went to Dick's Sporting Goods and we got his little Gatorade bottle and the pods that he really wanted. And then we went to the mall and we got him a little gold chain because he really wanted a little chain, you know. He got a little giraffe, little stuffed animal. And then we took him jumping on like this high sky bungee thing got him some food and then we just hung out for the rest of the day so yeah i think that was more but i don't know but yeah he loved his little easter his little early easter and then my brother he loved his gift which was honestly amazing because i was so nervous about it but he was like oh my gosh you guys got me the most perfect stuff for my birthday so yeah, I want to get better at this stuff. Like each year I want to get better with this stuff, especially when I get a house and stuff like that. I want to start throwing birthday parties and I want to start throwing more family oriented parties like Easter parties and stuff like that. I just cannot wait to start new traditions. Dollar should be coming in clutch. Yes, ma'am. Cause that boy, he can run up a coin in the stores. Yeah. What the freak? Yeah. Tastes like a freaking dum dum. A dum dum pop. Buh. That's sick. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to y'all tomorrow. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is the next morning and I have been watching cleaning videos all morning to get motivated. Uh, my cleaning skills have declined by a million percent. I used to scrub everything down with like scrub brushes, toothbrushes, just scrub things down, soap them down, get them completely spotless. I was like a deep cleaner. And now I'm like surface level cleaning. I just wipe things down and get things, you know, clean and tidy, but not like deep clean how I used to. And it's not working for my gut. Okay, so on my recent video, go ahead and check that out. It is a self-care video. It's very motivating. It's very aesthetic. It's very nice. Go ahead and check it out. It's down below in the description. I was watching that video and I seen a couple things that really threw me off and took me back in my house, in my apartment disgusting the two things that i noticed that i'm so embarrassed about underneath my faucet or like you know like the turning knobby thingy there was like some growl or grubbiness underneath it so i scrubbed the heck out of that as soon as i seen that i got a bleach and a toothbrush got some bleach and a toothbrush and i was like bah, 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 bah. okay and then my sink swear to gosh i actually did recently scrub the heck out of my sink with a toothbrush and some cleaner and i scrubbed it soaked it all down but it still wasn't completely spotless. It was still like some little grubby stuff on the side. So I'm thinking I'm getting a nice little aesthetic angle and really it's grub. And I'm just embarrassed. So after seeing that, I told myself like, you gotta get back to your old cleaning ways. Like you're gonna have to start soaping things down, scrubbing things down and cleaning how you used to because girl, this little surface level stuff's not working for you. And I used to love cleaning. Like, I don't know what the heck Essence is so annoying. I forgot what the heck I was saying. But basically, I've been watching cleaning videos. Um, so I get motivated to go ahead and start cleaning. And I am going to clean my kitchen. How I used to clean my kitchen, like scrubbing things down with dish soap and cleaner instead of just getting a cleaner and paper towel and just wiping things down. I'm drinking me some little chlorophyll. I actually love the taste of chlorophyll. I don't know why, but I love it. A lot of people are like, this is how you cover up the taste of chlorophyll. I'm like, don't, don't. I didn't ask you to. Oh yeah, I put on these Mighty Patches last night. Perfection. Oh my gosh, they just saved my life. These two pimples hurt really bad. Well, at least this one did. I spot treated this one with some Murad um, 
deep relief acne treatment and it worked really good but this one just was not budging so i put that mighty patch on it last night i woke up and usually with these pimples they come to the surface pretty fast like especially on accutane nothing came to the surface what well, did but it was all in that patch so it's smaller, it's flatter, and there's no white stuff in it. Like, oh my gosh. And then this one's like completely almost flat from it, from that. So why haven't I been following the trends? You kind of have to sometimes. Anyway, if you guys were wondering what I was using, what I used on my hair yesterday, I used the Way Curl Creme. I used this on my hair. That was the cream. Um, but for me, like my curls are not defined if my hair is not pretty wet. So I just kind of re-wet it a little bit with the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. I went ahead and wet it and then put the product in it. And then last but not least, I like to scrunch in gel. So this Cantu Grape Seed Strengthening Gel, I really like this. I just scrunch it into my hair. I don't rake it through. I just scrunch it. And it just defines my curls a little bit more. And it um, leaves my hair less frizzy um, throughout the days or whatever the heck. So yeah. Let's start cleaning. I really... Just be excited about it, girl. First of all, you have a home to clean. <laughs> you blessed to have a home to clean. You have cleaning products. You're blessed to have cleaning products. Negativity just gonna make the whole experience bad. Why? Why not enjoy life? Like, what's the point of living so uptight all the time? I ain't doing it. We're gonna start cleaning, actually. I keep jumping from topic to topic. Yesterday, I went over to my mom's house. And we were talking about how the devil be trying to silence people. He loves to silence us and have us not talk and have us not communicate and have us not fellowship and talk about the truths of what's going on in our lives. You know, like I read a book one time and it was just saying, like, you have to speak up when the devil's trying to attack you behind the scenes. Go and talk to somebody. Go and expose what he's trying to attack you with. There was a woman, I guess, that she had a very happy marriage. Her and her husband had been together for so long. They had children, beautiful home. They accomplished all of their dreams. They were a pretty happy couple. Um, but... She had a new coworker, and out of nowhere, she started to feel some kind of way towards her coworker. Like, you know, I kind of like him a little bit. And she felt terrible about it. Never acted on it, but, you know, it was starting to get a little bit steamy. She goes to her friend, she tells her, you know what? This is what I've been dealing with. Ever since she spoke up and verbalized and exposed what she had been going through, she never had to deal with it again. We have to speak to each other. We have to talk to each other. So, um... Proverbs 16, 27, idle hands are the devil's workshop. Idle lips are his mouthpiece. Idle, staying still. I felt like one of my elders though yesterday, I'm not gonna lie. I pulled out a, a paper of scripture. It felt so nice to pull out a paper. I said, hold on, I got some scripture right here. Hold on, hold on, let me, here I go. I said, I got a scripture just for that. Hold on, mama, hold on. So, anyways. I do want to go ahead and read a couple before we go ahead and hop into cleaning because why not start off with the word of God? The word of God is so refreshing. It just brings sunshine to your soul. Just like complimenting people brings sunshine to your soul. Proverbs 11.4. Your riches won't help you on judgment day. Only righteousness counts then. Proverbs 11.17. Your own soul is nourished when you are kind. I didn't even know I wrote this down. And that's exactly what I was saying about compliments. It is destroyed when you are cruel. I just said it brings sunshine to your soul and it says your own soul is nourished when you are kind and it's destroyed when you're cruel. Wow. I love this one. Proverbs 11, 24 and 25. This one's great. It is possible to give away and become richer. It is also possible to hold on too tightly and lose everything. Yes, the liberal man shall be rich by watering others. He waters himself. Proverbs 11, 28. Trust in your money and down you go. Trust in God and flourish as a tree. Proverbs 16, 29. Wickedness loves company and leads others into sin. That's all I have for y'all today, but them are some powerful scriptures. When I tell y'all I love Proverbs, if you are looking for a book in the Bible to get some wisdom, to get some clarity, to get some hardcore truth, Proverbs. Proverbs is all about wisdom. I love Pro girl, I, ooh, Proverbs has to be like my favorite. I'm not going to lie. I've read Proverbs like a million times. Love it. But let's go look at this kitchen and this refrigerator because I'm going to clean out my refrigerator today. You got this, girl. You got this. Okay, so this is what the kitchen is currently looking like. Definitely not too bad. 
but I need to go ahead and finally scrub down my counters. Your counters get a whole different shine when you actually scrub them with like soap and product and scrub them. A whole different shine, baby. I scrubbed down my bathroom the other day. Girl, my stuff was beaming. I don't have too many dishes. I need to go ahead and put that stuff away. Honestly, this is pretty clean, but I'm still just going to go ahead and scrub it down because you know, why not? This is my fridge. I really don't want to talk about it. So we're going to go ahead and close it and we'll come back to that later because I know y'all are judging me so bad. I swear to gosh, I clean my fridge like every two to three months and yeah, that's not enough. I don't know why I thought I was saying something right there. I just literally have bad habits of making everything dirty. I do um, do a lot of cleaning off of camera though. Like I, I scrub down my floorboards and my walls and stuff like that off of camera. I do not like cleaning on camera. That's my problem. Like I clean the best when I'm off of camera because like having a camera, it's like an extra job while you're already doing a job. So I don't show all of my cleaning because I do a lot of cleaning off of camera. Like the stuff that I wouldn't want to do on camera. I always do the simple cleaning on camera because it's easier for me and then real fast have you guys ever gotten like a teeth whitening session done not at like an orthodontist but there's like people nowadays that do teeth whitening at like their lash salons or stuff like that if you've ever done like a 60 or 80 minute like teeth whitening session let us just know if it like made your teeth super sensitive because i really want to go in and get my teeth whitened get them eight to ten shades lighter because girl i really want whiter teeth but i don't know if it's gonna irritate my teeth and then i don't know I'm probably just talking. I don't know if this is going to be the year that I'm actually going to have enough strength to go get jaw surgery. So I want braces really bad. And I was only able to get braces. That's Jordan. I was only able to get braces on my top row because of like my jaw. My jaw basically is screwed up to the point where I can't get top and bottom braces. So I got the top ones, but I really want the bottom ones. And I didn't really wear my, reta my retainer because it was cutting off circulation. Like, oh my gosh, it was cutting off circulation in my gums so bad. I would have had no teeth. Um, so my top teeth kind of went back to how they were. So I'm hoping I have enough strength this year and the boldness to get my jaw surgery done so that I can get my braces because I don't want to get veneers. It's beautiful, girl. I like, it. I'm not, I'm just saying, I don't need that. I just need to work with what I already have. So jaw surgery, braces, whitening, it'll amount to veneer price, but it's my teeth and they're my natural teeth. So anyways, I'm just honestly talking so that I don't have to clean. Um, y'all, let's start cleaning y'all.
Okay, girl, so the kitchen is clean. I love how squeaky clean the sink is. Girl, we love it. Y'all see the shine on the counters when you scrub them? Ooh, girl, we are loving it. I was gonna go ahead and clean down my cabinets. They don't really need it, but just because I was gonna do it, but since my battery, I don't have much battery left, I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of that on my refrigerator. But like I said, everything is squeaky clean, looking amazing, smelling amazing. Girl, we love it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the floors and everything after I get this refrigerator done. The only thing I'm a little annoyed about when doing my refrigerator refrigerator this is absolutely terrible is that I still have to do dishes after I clean my refrigerator because there's dishes in here of course that I have to go ahead and throw the nasty food out and wash so that's the only thing but I'm gonna go ahead and get all the dishes out throw all the trash away scrub down the refrigerator make some lemon water organize and everything should be amazing but I'm in the mode right now so I ain't really trying to talk let's go ahead and get this done
Okay, so I just finished vacuuming. I did um, the rest of the refrigerator off of camera because girl, I was like, you know what? This is a little bit too much. Let me turn this camera off and focus. Okay, so I got the refrigerator done. It is looking so amazing. Girl, we love it. The door is a little cluttered, but whose door isn't? Honestly, like that's where the condiments go. So yeah, the refrigerator is looking nice. It is scrubbed down, it is squeaky clean it feels so amazing to have a clean refrigerator i feel like even if my kitchen was dirty having a clean refrigerator just makes it feel that much better it is so squeaky clean but this is perfect because my sink is starting to smell gross and lemons always help with that and then a little bit of bleach a little bit of bleach that always helps with that also when you're doing dishes and you have like a dish that has had food sitting in it for a while and it just stays smelling like food put bleach in it and clean it down with bleach and dish soap. Bleach really gets rid of that grease and that odor that may be stuck in the Tupperware or a pot, whatever the heck. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put this garbage disposal on. Perfect, now it smells like lemons and bleach. Girl, we love it. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly clean this out. Now all I'm going to do is make some lemon water and we're gonna go ahead and end off this vlog because girl, I gotta get myself together, brush my teeth, wash my face, shower, get ready. I gotta get some editing done and then I'm gonna go over to my brother's house for his birthday and give him his gifts and just chill with the family. So yeah, let's make this lemon water. Girl, I am so ready to get my butt up in the shower. I'm about to have me a nice, relaxing, hot shower. Get in some comfy clothes, girl. And move on with the rest of my day. I love to shower, you guys. I don't know what the heck it is. It's super therapeutic and super motivating. Girl, I love me a good shower. Everything is done, though, that I wanted to get done. The kitchen and the refrigerator. Ooh, girl, I got some crust on the side of my list. Accutane ain't no joke, y'all. I don't want to be, like, obnoxious and show you guys everything again. Don't mind that. That's his gift bag but everything just looks amazing i'm so satisfied with my refrigerator i made one more cup of chlorophyll water i usually don't drink two cups of that a day but they say it's not bad for you they say just don't exceed eight who the heck is doing eight like you're a vegetable at that point anyways it's time for me to go ahead and <laughs> shut up it is now time for you girls to go ahead and head up out of here do not mind my hair i don't know what the heck i did but i just like put it up anyways it is now officially time for you girls to go ahead and head up out of here. I love every single one of you guys. God bless you all. In Jesus' name. And it's time for you girls to go.